So guys, the Reading Stabbing 2 have been found guilty of the Ollie Stevens murder. Two schoolboys who ambushed a 13 year old and stabbed him to death after a dispute on social media have been found guilty for the murder, finally after a very very long trial. Ollie Stevens suffered a fatal stab wound to the chest and back in a field in Reading on the 3rd of January. He had been lured there by a girl and was attacked by two boys carrying knives, Reading Crown Court was told. The girl 14 admitted manslaughter should be sentenced with the two boys, also both 14 at a later date, but none of them can be named for legal reasons. Ollie was filmed checking his phone as he left his house for the final time. His killers had fallen out of Ollie because they believed he grasped on them to the brother of a boy they had mocked in a social media group chat, the trial heard. Voice notes and text messages were presented to the jury in which the boys talked about taking revenge. It's actually getting banged when I see him, one message said. Another added, I actually hate the kid with a passion, like if I was to see him right now, I'll probably end up killing him or something. The girl was recruited to lure Ollie to Bugs Bottom Fields near his home in the Emma Green as part of a setup the jury was told. She suggested in the messages exchanged before the killing that Ollie deserved what was coming, the court also heard. Alison Morgan prosecuting said Ollie had no idea he was about to be attacked, that it was an ambush on him, a planned attack that was designed to put him in a vulnerable position, she said. One blade penetrated 17 centimetres into Ollie's back and the other wound in his chest was 9 centimetres deep, the jury heard. An off-duty nurse walking a dog found a fatally injured teenager and attempted resuscitation but he was pronounced dead at the scene. The court heard the killers tried to dispose of evidence and exchange messages on Snapchat about the attack, with one of the boys describing it as the biggest mistake of his life. In a statement issued after his death, Ollie's family described him as an enigma who could get his own way with a smile and a cheeky grin. They added an Ollie sized hole has been left in our heart. There is a video that I'm going to put up on my Instagram page because it will get censored on YouTube because the material where the murderer is playing around with a knife so the fetish behind knives is something they might look into. There's been a little bit of leniency on the trial obviously not revealing anything about the killers when they put Ollie's face everywhere. It's literally been a headline on every newspaper but I'm not too sure on what's going to happen with their sentencing due to their age but I will update you guys on this channel. There is a lot of stuff going against them, of course, videos that I put up on my Instagram where they're playing with knives don't look good, but also that it was premeditated, it weren't a shock of the moment thing, they was going there and planning to do something to Ollie, it weren't just a self-defense moment where stuff got out of control, it's like they wanted to cause harm on Ollie. Let's finish off this video by saying a huge rest in peace to Oliver Stevens and I'm going to try to update you guys on what happens with sentencing regarding these young things. If they even reveal it, they could protect them and not even reveal their sentencing so people don't know when they're getting out and stuff in the public. I'm not too sure on the updates that come out but I will keep you guys posted as always. That's it for this video guys. I'll see you all in my next one. Peace out.